Welcome to Movies. This evening I'm going to be reviewing a film called The Black Phone from a novel by the same name by Joe Hill. I didn't know this but Joe Hill is the son of Stephen King so the film has a little bit of Stephen King feel to it. Not such a bad thing. It's set in a small town in America and the hero or protagonist is Finney who lives with his younger sister and a rather violent drunken father who is not too um, reluctant to use his belt on the pair of him. At school Finney's bullied by three particular boys until he makes a friend on the baseball pitch and this friend looks after him but insists that he ought to stand up for himself. Now the plot and the main plot is that a lot of um, young teenage boys have been going missing <coughs> in the area and Finney's sister who's possibly a little bit psychic um, has dreams and tells police that she's had these dreams and imparts knowledge that only the police know i.e. a dark van with black balloons anyway the kid that was looking after Finney is abducted and the bullies kind of take their revenge while he is away and I have to say that the fight scenes amongst the children are quite brutal anyway it's not long before Finney gets abducted and he comes to in this con old concrete line basement where on the wall is a black phone. The abductor comes down and taunts him and says that the phone's not connected and they show you the cut wires. <coughs> anyway, <coughs> from time to time the phone rings and you presume it's the previous victims of this psycho give Finney bits of advice that are either good or not so good. Now that's when I'll stop explaining the plot because it gets goes on from there. It's quite a pleasant film. I think people who like Stephen King will like this and people who are a bit ambivalent towards him I think you can do worse than waste idle away 90 minutes or so watching this film. It's well worth it. Thank you very much for watching.